and welcome to Judson Sunday Arts, where kids of all ages can make art that matters. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and for those of you joining us who are blind or have low vision, I'm a white 34-year-old woman with short, dark blonde hair. I'm wearing a bright pink sleeveless dress with a ruffled collar, and there's a big bookcase and cabinet behind me with books and other things in them and art on the walls. Andy's off for the rest of the summer, so this is a standalone activity. And this month, we are highlighting New York City-based museums and arts organizations that have cool arts activities for you to check out online. Today, we are listening to our hearts and making whatever art you like. You will need whatever art materials or space your passions require. Our activity is inspired by resources from MoMA, New York City's own Museum of Modern Art. According to MoMA's website, linked below, at the Museum of Modern Art and MoMA PS1, we celebrate creativity, openness, tolerance, and generosity. We aim to be inclusive places, both on site and online, where diverse cultural, artistic, social, and political positions are welcome. We're committed to sharing the most thought-provoking modern and contemporary art and hope you will join us in exploring the art, ideas, and issues of our time. MoMA has a robust collection of videos and audio files about their collection available on YouTube and their website, all linked below. The clip that we'll watch today is of MoMA security guard Sheldon A. Clark looking at and speaking about Van Gogh's landscape painting, The Starry Night. In the clip, Sheldon is a black man with facial hair who is wearing sunglasses, a black suit patterned with colorful flowers, and a black fedora hat with a red ribbon. There are close-ups of the painting, which Sheldon describes. Let's see. This is one of these pieces where people line up outside of the museum, waiting for the museum to open, just to run upstairs to get the first view. Some people are super excited. People are touched by it. Some people want to touch it. I actually saw someone stood in front of this piece and cried, like literally cried. It's just one of those pieces that's timeless. My name is Sheldon Clark, and I work in the security department here at the Museum of Modern Art. This is Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh, created in 1889. Starry, starry night, so bright. I just want to keep my shades on. It's a whole different vibes. Just being able to just come up and just look at it in person, just change the angles and see the different strokes and the different viewpoint. You know, we get an idea of what was going on in his mind at that time. The bright sky, the moon, the stars, the church. You know, he said that Faith was a foundation part of his life in his early days. He was the son of a pastor. I think at the latter part of his life, God and faith was still present in his mind. And it's interesting because they're saying that the church in that location was different from the church that he painted. But the one that's in the painting is similar to the one from like his, his childhood experience, probably back home. Well, another thing that really touched me about this piece is just the place in which it was created. He was in asylum. He said that he was cut off from his family, from his friends, from his community. He had the freedom in the day to go out and to look around, and he also had the view from where he was staying at. And this also just encouraged me and, and a lot of other artists that it doesn't really matter where you are in life. It's so important to just keep pursuing your goal, keep pursuing your vision, and do it all the way to the end. He did most of his work, the latter part of his life. He painted like around over 2,000 pieces. He was focused. He never allowed the fact that people were saying that he was crazy and art for him was a therapy. He was at one of his lowest points in life, but he brought forth like one of the amazing art to the world. It's kind of sad that he's not here right now to really see the way this art is really impacting people. It's very inspiring never to give up on what you're doing because you never know what 
that piece of art that you're creating, you never know the response that it might give the public within the next decade or the next century. Did you learn anything from that clip? I love what Sheldon said about artists creating art as therapy or to help them through hard times. And I bet that most museum security guards would know a lot about the collections on display. So what type of art makes you feel the best? That's right, it's art making time. Next week will be our last session. So this week we are celebrating by creating whatever you want. Do you love painting, sculpture, movies, acting, music, dance? Pick one or all forms and get to making. If you want an extra challenge, share what you created with some friends that you trust. You could spend five minutes or a whole week making the type of art that makes you feel good. If you love what you made, send it to me so I can feature it on our final edition of Judson Sunday Arts. Be safe, wear your masks, and happy art making friends. See ya.